when I was a little girl, we didn't actually have electricity on the island. Some years later, we ended up using diesel for our generators. And that was the start of electricity into the home as we know it. My name is Cindy Hannah Knowles Abraham. My husband and I have developed a business called Divine Retreat. And this business offers accommodation, food and tours. The electricity powering Cindy's business comes from these new solar mini grids. Parts of the $43 million Cook Islands Renewable Energy Project, co-financed by ADB, the European Union, the Green Climate Fund and the Global Environment Facility. In the day of the diesel uh, operation, we used to have a lot of failures. We never had 24-hour power then. It would run for three days a week five days a week and once we've gone to um, solar energy we've had 24-7 electricity which has just been absolutely brilliant. We're able to install electric fans, we've got refrigerators, you've got electric stove which we never had in the past and you're able to have a lot more lights um, throughout your, your building for for everyone's comfort. The Solar Power Project is helping the country's outer islands embrace renewable energy, which is cheaper, more reliable, and better for the environment. Well, energy is always an important aspect of development, and particularly for our remote communities and our outer islands, energy has always been a challenge. So for us, the sensible solution has been to use renewable energy, in particular solar energy, uh, to meet those energy demands. Te Apungawira acknowledges the invaluable support provided by the ADB through the Cook Islands Government. This support has enabled Te Apungawira to access financing to support key RE projects through the Green Climate Fund, the Global Environment Facility, as well as other sources. We look forward to continued support tailored to the needs of the Cook Islands to ensure the success in achieving our renewable energy goals. The arrival of solar power on the island has also improved life for students and teachers at Mitsiaura School. All our electricity are run by, by, renewable, by the renewable energy and ever since it has come on, I feel that the school has benefited a lot. We do not have a regular power outage. Solar power has helped baker Rangi Kimiora extend his baking hours, which has been good for business. Being a baker on the island, I believe that solar has so many advantages for me, especially baking within 24-7 and as well as in midnights and in morning, because I believe that before that, uh, if we were on diesel power, I don't think I could be baking at midnight or early morning. So now solar has allowed me to do that for a longer term as well. By powering the outer islands and adding battery storage systems in the main island of Rarotonga to support grid stability, the project is expected to boost business growth across the Hook Islands. Putting in place a renewable energy program in the outer islands is something that was going to be critical if we wanted to lift the standard of living uh, in the outer islands. And if we wanted to engage these communities which are quite a far distance from the major economic hub in our country, uh, it was important that we did provide them with good, reliable energy at an affordable price uh, that would enable them to be part of our economic development. <laughs>